Right, so here I've got an FEP tray and um, I'm going to pour some acetone in this and see what happens because uh, I'm quite I'm quite upset with it right now and I couldn't really care less. So the first thing was um, because I just bought a Mars Pro, I thought, yeah, yeah I'm just going to start printing loads of stuff and it was all right, but I started I wanted to print some other things and uh, pretty much got one failure after another after another after another and then the house just started stinking of resin after I cleaned it out so many times. So. Uh, this is going to be a sacrificial FEP. Um, I've got like two spares anyway because I had a feeling that, you know, I like to learn things without reading instructions and stuff like that. And uh, unfortunately, it is not a plug and play job. You can't just click on it, pour the stuff, and then it's all good. Um, first thing it was, was was the first time I cleaned it, I literally wiped it with a tissue, and I was like, yeah, nice. I've just ruined it. I can see all the scratches on it, even though I don't think they make that much of a difference because I did print. Um, sharp with the scratches on there successfully every time afterwards so I don't think the scratches are so much of a problem but I'm going to pour in some acetone and see how it goes anyway so without further ado here's some acetone and let's see what happens there we go so there's your acetone in the FEP It doesn't do anything. So there you have it. Acetone really doesn't do anything to that. Um, it's not really a surprise to me because uh, I'd say if I get some acetone and I get my 3D printed object and I put it inside there, then um, it doesn't do anything to that either. As far as I'm concerned, uh, I think IPA acetone it's all the same to me it doesn't make much difference what you use uh, they're all solvents uh, but in my opinion acetone is at the bottom of the scale of effectivity so uh, I mean it may melt ABS doesn't really do much to PLA PHA it does a little bit better on I think it does nothing to PLA in fact but uh, there you have it so um, in fact I'm just gonna pull that back in and I know that you probably noticed that I'm using the wrong end. I should be using this end here, but that's just me. So uh, there you have it. If you want to clean your tray with acetone, go for it. In fact, I probably will be. That's what acetone looks like on your FEP. So don't be afraid. But obviously, if you've got a, uh, if you've got um. What was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. But one thing I have noticed is that you can see here all the all the stuff is uh, peeling off the edges. So I'd probably say it's actually better than IPA to uh, to clean this stuff with. Um, so uh, if I was you, I'd, I'd use acetone in the in the FEP. It hasn't lost any strength or anything like that. I've been. I think I might have a hole here but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I don't think I do, so I might actually chuck that back in the printer and see what it does, but uh, because I've been jabbing my nail into it, it's kind of a little bit warped area now there. But as you can see, all the bits around here have started to clean off. So if I take my tissue, you'll be like, oh my God, don't wipe it with a tissue. It really doesn't matter. Just don't wipe it like a lunatic, in my opinion, and you'll be all right. But as you can see, this has been in my in my drawer now, or in my cupboard for a couple of days now. So uh, it's actually far more effective than uh, as, uh, IPA at cleaning, in my opinion. So, uh, and I have a lot more of it. So there you go. That's my uh, little tutorial of the day, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to do a full write up about what I think the differences are, or things that. Are, better or worse from uh, resin printing or not so yeah if you're if you're curious about scratches and stuff like that it really it really doesn't make much difference and if it's a bit murky and you're printing again it doesn't make much difference UV light penetrates quite you know quite well through that because I've even sprayed this with uh, what was that bottle this kind of dry lube PFTE, so um, I can't get that American stuff in England because I live in England, so I thought I'd give this one 
And then what I did was I literally just like sprayed the crap out of it. And then if you if you watch it, it's kind of like acetone. It goes white, so it goes kind of like white, like a mirror. Not, not like a mirror, but it kind of all kind of fogs up. And then what I would do is just wipe it all off afterwards. But I don't know again if that's the right thing to do because I would assume you want it clear, even though I'm sure the, the UV rays pass through that stuff pretty easily. So, um, well, I'll do it now, in fact. I may as well do it now. I'm doing this video. By the way, that's still sitting in there. And if we take this out, <clears throat> and it's not closed, so I'm inhaling all this acetone, which, uh, to be honest with you, I don't even smell acetone anymore. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Mm, where's my... I'm looking for my... Whatever, I'll just take it out of my fingers because I'm not fussed with acetone. Alright, so, um... To be honest with you, I know, I know that's pretty zoomed out, but it, it doesn't really do much to the model. You can sit, you have it sitting and leaving in that sit in the vat for a long time I don't think it, it makes any difference to the model at all it doesn't like dissolve the model like PLA for instance so so um don't worry about it anyway so this stuff it's gonna fog up basically as you can see and um after it does that I oh, don't I don't actually need to wait for it to do that what I would do, or what I did anyway. <laughs> I've, I've only done this a couple of times and I kind of gave up on the Mars, to be honest with you. Now I'll just fold up the piece of paper. Now you're probably saying, oh, you should use microfiber cloth or something like that, but whatever, this is a demonstration purposes only video. So um, I'm kind of waiting for this stuff to dry. As you can see, it's all dry and white. So what I would do now would be to literally wipe all that stuff off. And then I'll just slap that on there, see how that goes. I mean, I'll be honest with you, there's, a, there's quite a lot of staining up there, which I didn't seem to get the last time. But uh, and it's kind of all that white kind of craziness everywhere here. I don't know if that's gonna help. It didn't really help my print, to be honest with you. Still failed about 10 times in a row, so. Anyway, this video was meant to be about acetone on FEP, so uh, I think I'll leave it at that, and I'll do some other videos later. Now, if you wanna wipe all that stuff off, then I guess you can just pop the acetone back on. Makes quite funky noises. And then you can just wipe it all down again. Now I think I put that spring of the FEP kind of... I seem to have this kind of what line there and some kind of weird... I don't know if that's the back. No, it's not the back. As you can see this on the side. So yeah, well, my adventures with FEP, this is <laughs> this obviously isn't a good one, so um, yeah, I won't be using that again. I guess I just won't be using any of them again. I don't think I'll be doing Mars Pro printing for a while. I just found that cleaning is much quicker with acetone. Isopropyl alcohol just loiters everywhere. It's, it's, it stays kind of messy everywhere. Acetone just destroys it, moves it on, cleans it, done, you're finished. Isopropyl alcohol loiters around a long time like resin. It just kind of stays everywhere. So um, I would recommend using acetone to clean the, the FAP with rather than isopropyl alcohol. I mean, I used to pour in isopropyl alcohol and spend hours trying to clean it off and that. And I've literally done it in a couple of seconds now with uh, acetone, even though it was pretty much clean to begin with. But I'm gonna give it a shot with uh, acetone, the uncured resin that is, um, so yeah, that's my um, that's my idea anyway. So I'm gonna, I, in experience, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that acetone is better at cleaning than isopropyl alcohol because uh, 
it loiters more the isopropyl alcohol it's just there's something about it I, I can't figure it out what it is I'm I'm gonna have a couple more experiments but in my opinion the acetone is better yeah don't use isopropyl and resin because it's just a bad combination in my opinion it just stinks 10 times worse than acetone it's just gonna linger in the air and stink far longer so um acetone goes away far quicker than isopropyl alcohol that's just my word of advice feel free to disagree or agree either way i'll see you later again okay bye